Messages in iCloud is a new feature that was first announced in June of 2017, but didn't arrive until May of 2018. The feature was made available in the iOS 11.4 update and the macOS 10.13.5 update. So if you're running the latest version of iOS 11 or later and macOS High Sierra or later, messages in iCloud will be available. Currently, if I remove this message thread from my iPhone, it's going to remain on both the iPad and the Mac. To activate messages in iCloud on the iOS devices, we need to go into iCloud settings in the settings app and simply switch on the messages toggle here. I'll do that for both the iPhone and iPad. On the Mac, I need to go into Messages App Preferences and the Accounts pane. Check Enable Messages in iCloud, and I'm done. Doing this is now going to sync all the messages found on any of these devices with all the other devices that are activated. Now when a new message comes in, and it's read on any of the devices, it's going to be marked as read on the other devices too. Delete the message thread here on the iPhone, and it's immediately deleted from the other devices as well. So if you use multiple devices to view and send messages or text, activating messages in iCloud is probably a good move. But having your messages in iCloud will count against your iCloud storage amount. So if you're low on available storage, you might want to hold off on messages in iCloud or upgrade to a paid storage tier. To learn much more about using iCloud on your iPhone, iPad, and Mac, view the full tutorial available at themacu.com. Thanks for watching.